Yes. All right. Appreciate everybody for sticking around. We'll get everyone out of here pretty quick. Obviously, the champ needs to celebrate and get some rest. I'll throw a question out to each one that's joining us at the table, and then I'll open it up to the crowd. Uh, ben, I'll come to you first. You got to, to be a part of, you know, with Boxer being some great homecomings, or you see what's happened in Bournemouth and Liverpool and Manchester all over. Now you've been able to build some new stars, help build some new stars here in Wales. Just recap the night for us. It was astonishing. I think um, the support, the crowd, the whole week, the start of the night, the fact that they come early, the amount of Welsh talent on the card as well. I thought Kane Shepherd was amazing. I thought Reese Edwards had a coming of age performance, incredible performance, really, to take on Thomas Patrick Ward. But then, what I just witnessed was, and what we just witnessed was, was greatness. Mm. Yeah, it was a superb talent, a complete fighter. She, you know, he must be the first world champion in boxing never to lose a round. Like that is special, and. Um, yeah, what a night, what an atmosphere. We've come here many, many times. There's going to be many, many big nights and a tall order to follow Katie Taylor in, in Ireland and what she did for that country. But you see the way Wales get behind her. You see what it means to this country to her. She's been through so much. She never complains. She's the easiest fighter to work with that we have. But what a talent. And uh, yeah, so proud of her, so proud of the team and, and everything they've done. And what a future and what a career to look forward to. Absolutely. Lauren, I'll come to you last because you're the okay. champ, but I do want to come to your coach, Rob McCracken here, Bob, uh, echoing a lot of what Ben just talked about. I mean, seventh fight and now a unified world champion. Did you have an idea it was going to happen this quick? Um, we, you're not sure, are you? But um, she's good enough to, to box with anybody in the world at her weight. Um, she's, she is a special talent. I know that's easy to say, but I know a little bit about boxing. Um, she's got everything she needs, but she still needs to develop a little bit, obviously, as a person, still as an athlete. And, and talent-wise, she's got everything. It's just doing the things at the right time. And, and you know, a little change was a running. She'll probably mention it, but um, running wasn't hard enough for the last couple of fights. Change of running on. Bit more sparring, longer rounds and stuff. So um, she'll just improve and get better and better. But it's a, it's really nice to be part of the journey uh, with Lauren and, and the start of it as a professional. And she's won the world championships. It was absolutely fantastic in Wales tonight. It's a very good uh, champion as well that she be. Uh, it's it's you know it's it, it is it's like Katie Taylor's brand starting again but with Lauren being a Welsh boxer and the whole Wales can get behind her. Amazing, Lauren. Come to you. You got a whole lot of hardware in front of you that you're gonna have to see over all those belts. But I'll start with just an easy question: What does it feel like? How does it feel? Can't really, you know, sum up and put into words. Um, as soon as I walked out tonight on top of that ramp, nothing I've experienced like that before in my life. You know, that crowd getting behind me, that ring walk, was something I'll remember for the rest of my life. Uh, I said all along, you know, we wouldn't beat that Olympic gold medal and. I gotta be honest, they haven't, but that ring walk and that support I've received is definitely up there with it. Um, yeah, I can't thank everyone, like I said, enough. As Welsh fans, we're a small nation, but we support our own and they come out for me tonight, so I'm very grateful. Absolutely. I will open it up to the crowd. Put your hand up, I can get a mic. Lauren. Jessica McCaskill beforehand was saying this was a step to far from you, that you would have experienced the pressures of being at home and having to deliver a world title fight. Look easy in them. I wouldn't say easy, but I think obviously looking at my career, you know, when you boxed at the Olympics, it's the pinnacle of the sport. And when you're ranked, number one in the world going into the Olympics, expected to win gold. You've got pressure on you, all the experiences, all the tournaments I've done as an amateur. Don't get me wrong, amateurs are different to the pro game, but from a pressure point of view, you know, uh, I've had pressure my whole life. So, yeah, um, it was just great tonight, you know, having our own crowd there. If anything, it speed me along. And like I said, I knew, obviously, I was confident this week. My team is confident, and I've said all along, as long as my team believe in me and I believe in myself, 
no one else's obviously opinion really matters and yeah I think obviously won every round again so not bad. Not bad. <laughs> you were nagging Ben from the moment he signed you to deliver you this fight in Cardiff, your homecoming, World Championship shot. What have you been nagging about next? Coming back to Cardiff. Um, you know, it, it, I think obviously a show tonight, Welsh boxing, even on the undercard, you know, I've said all week, I I was in the amateurs with Reese Edwards and Kira Jones, and it's great for them to have their time to shine tonight and the rest of the lads. So there's, there's, there's loads of Welsh talent out there, and it's great for Welsh boxing, and I believe this is just the start. I want to come back here and defend my belts and be a massive fight. You know, the 147 division, there's great fights out there for me, and I want to go all the way. Yeah, they were watching, but um, like I said, I'll speak to Rob. He'll decide what I do next, and we'll go from there. And when's the new Rob? All the questions and all the headlines are going to be about what's next for Lauren because the world seemingly is her oyster. What would you like to see happen next? Um, obviously, enjoy the the win and the night that she's had with the Welsh fans, and 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 obviously becoming world champion. And then obviously we'll, we'll, we'll have a chat. But you know, Ben did a fantastic job giving you know let's let's be honest to bring a, a top champion over to Wales and defend the titles against Lauren, who's in a who's had six fights. Yes, she's Olympic champion, but you know to persuade her to come over and and defend, it, it, you know, it was fantastic. You know, to give Lauren a massive platform and a massive opportunity, and now you know what should be a massive profile as well. So credit to Ben, done a great job. And our, our, our side of the bargain is that Lauren works hard, trains, happy to fight all comers. That's how she's always been since she's turned professional. She's got lots of experience from amateur boxing, fought at the high level. So um, the world's a oyster in my opinion, but obviously one step at a time and, and hopefully it's in Wales again. Lauren, last one. What are you looking forward to more? The 30th birthday celebrations coming up, the holiday, or what are you going to pigs in blankets? Pigs in blankets tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> Banging Sunday dinner off my nan. Um, been on a diet for the last ten weeks, eating clean, you know. I've done everything. No stir no stone was left unturned for this camp. And like Rob mentioned earlier, you know, from my running to my sparring. Um, I've had a, I had a great camp, best camp so far and tonight in there, you know, we showed in my fitness as well. I, I didn't really really feel it to be fair, so that's the way forward. A question for Ben, is the Natasha Jonas fight something you want to make next or do you want it down the line? Um, <laughs> I think that division, we had Habazan here tonight, the WBC world champion as well, Natasha Jonas of course, I think it's a huge fight, I do believe it will happen, um, whether it's next or not we'll see, we'll have to speak to, to both of them, both great champions. Um, but tonight is a, is about enjoying it. What is amazing, I have to say, is that welterweight division. So many big names, so many big fights, so many big opportunities. And that's been an issue for women's boxing for, for the past decade is you have had those stars, but you've not had those big fights and you've not had those big rivalries. Lauren is coming in right at the right time. And there's huge nights there, huge nights in this division and, and beyond. Lauren, congratulations. Um, how satisfying was it fight where Jessica tried to make it rough, like you said she would, but in the end, your skill still prevailed. That was what won it. It was you doing it your way. Yeah, I think obviously going in there, I knew she was never going to outbox me. Um, she was going to try and, you know, she likes a dog fight, make it messy. And at the start, obviously, I found her a bit tricky um, just to find my range and distance because she moves quite, you know, unorthodox. But when I got into my rhythm and pick my shots, yeah, like you said, my, my skills overcome that and my speed. And I think, you know, the biggest thing was, was using my feet as well, um, using my angles and catching up with my right hook as well.
if you've been in many bike setups before where it is kind of rough and physical and up against the ropes as much as, as it was tonight and with that did, did you want to learn something new about yourself tonight? Yeah obviously uh, um, you know the pros are completely different to amateurs it's, it's a fight you know it's rough and tough and I think obviously each fight I'm getting better and better and I believe there's so much more to come from me as well. Um, I've had you know when I box as, as an amateur I've had big girls you know flying at me 75 kilo Russians um, I've boxed against all different styles but now I'm in the pros it's learning you know you're in a fight and what you've got to do to get through to win. Uh, what was the assessment from Karis watching on? Yeah she was happy I think. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what was the assessment the performance? What did you think? Phenomenal. Like she, she, she's a little superstar. Phenomenal. What do you think? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you better agree. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Lauren, we, we know you're a laid back character and you talk about having ice in your veins. Did it take some an extra to? Keep the lid on it when you're the ramp today. Uh, no, I've been saying to myself, you know, all week I want you to soak that ring, walk up, enjoy it. But I think obviously you've seen a switch when I got to that ring, you know, I was kind of tunnel vision and that's what I planned. Obviously, when that bell goes, there's only two of you in there and you've got to switch on. Um, even though I heard them, you know, chanting my name and the crowd was insane, I just tried to block that out in a way and just, just listen to my corner. What was the overriding emotion when, when the referee did stop the fight and it was obvious that you were the new world champion? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I don't know, like I said, when I turned over pro, you know, uh, I had two things. I wanted to become world champion and box in Wales and fair play to Ben, you know, i got to thank him, you know, for giving me the, the chance to box in Wales and for this fight and, yeah, I've ticked both off tonight. It's just about now going on and creating a Welsh legacy and coming back here and, and having, you know, being involved in big fights again. Awesome. Thank you. Also, by the way, huge shout out to the broadcaster, Sky NBC and BBC Wales for all coming together on this show. I want to make sure that's noted in this press conference. Uh, this one's for Ben. Ben, you mentioned um, about this brilliant night in Cardiff for Lauren, and Lauren mentioned she wants to come back to Cardiff. We obviously have the press week in the Cardiff City Stadium. Lauren's done some things in the Principality as well. Is there a <coughs> or, or which one of those is more attractive for, for a possible future fight if it's not here in the Interlater? Both. Look, everything's possible. Let's be honest, this was the first time we've come to Cardiff, but look at the history and um, we had similar experiences later on in the career with Chris Biller Smith came to an arena like this and then ended up at the stadium and um, Richard Riappel will do the same in June but no one has a following this natural and this big and this fanatic and this incredibly passionate about about Lauren and uh, yeah the world's a oyster she has the fights as I've said ahead of her she's got the big fights and the big names to come the big nights to come this arena is a fantastic arena. I'm sure we'll be here many more times, but of course the dream, as everyone's dream, is to is to fight in the stadium and, and I truly believe that happening. And for yourself, Lauren, you seem to have been the calmest person in the room all throughout fight week. You were the calmest person in the room today as well in the ring. Is there anything that can bother you in the ring at all? Or are you, you know, now you've done the Olympics, now you've got your world champion, is there anything that could stop you and, and, and nerve you at all? No, I just think it's my personality, you know. Um, people have been saying to me, oh, we call you seem so chill, but I'm just laid back. I take everything in my stride. Um, but, like, I'm a human. Don't get me wrong, I was nervous tonight. Of course I was, you know. I'm coming out in front of my own fans and I'm against a top elite, you know, boxer. So, yeah, I had obviously nerves, but it's good to have nerves as well. But, yeah, all week, you know, I've enjoyed it and I enjoyed myself tonight. And it's just another learning curve to go on, you know, forward into my career. And then with your opponent, Jess, was she what you expected out there? Was that a you know a fighter in front of you that you expected to see, or did she bring anything you didn't expect from her? Obviously, with her experience and, and the top type uh, champion that she is. No, I knew she was going to come. I knew you know she was going to be rough and tough, and yeah, pretty much you know I knew that was her game. Yeah. Brilliant. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.
All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark.